Little dino. Holy! That's a lot of damage. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> Welcome hoarders, today we're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo 5, and this week we will be doing the sports truck, or the pickup truck challenge. Um, I did this before, I'm going to pick the same vehicle I did it before in, because I'm a, uh, I'm a Dodge fanboy. So we're taking the 2004 quad cab. Hemi Hemi ugh. words that I'm not good with. Boy. Uh, I believe... Is there any restrictions? Because I believe I had that bad boy fucking ripped up. Um, cars, obviously, there's only like four. Unrestricted. Okay. So let's go garage and pick our RAM. And I want to go to tuning because I feel like I should have more than 470 horsepower with the stuff I put on it before. Come on, boy. Yeah, I had to dumb it down quite a bit. We ain't dumbing it down now. Now we have 709 horsepower. <laughs> That's two more horsepower than the Dodge uh, Hellcat. <laughs> I love it. Uh, obviously, we're going to win. Unless I wreck very badly. Uh, they're both three lap races. Oh, Laguna Seca. I love this fucking track. This is my legitimate favorite track that there is. Um, the first game that I played on this track, I believe, was Gran Turismo 3. Um, I, I think that was the game. I'm not sure. Um, but I also I remember hearing the name so often. Because uh, I beat Gran Turismo 5 before I ever even got an Xbox 360. And then I played, um, I think it was Forza Motorsport 3. I'm not sure on that. But I, I, I remember hearing them say the name so often. And I was like, that's my favorite track. Us and our 709 horsepower uh, Dodge Ram that some reason there's no uh, first person view get out me car okay how about you don't pit me come on you gotta go a little left after that douchebag pitted me like a little bitch or I'm just a shitty driver I should have changed the uh, that's what I did I think I remember what I used this on last time. I think I was using it on off-road course, and it was just way too much. Um, and I think I changed it to 50-50 for the uh, drivetrain, and I should probably get rid of so much power in the front wheels, because it's definitely still set up with a lot of power to the front, as well as the back. And I want to switch to this view. Oh my god. We'll just do the whole race off-road. Fuck it. Get the fuck out of me way. You need to really brake for this. Why? The brakes are fucking me up. It's also been a little while since I played this. Like three, four weeks, I think. Ram it. That, that, no pun intended on that either. I did not mean for that. And 
once we get turned around here. Got a turbo, cold air intake, fucking everything on this bad boy. Yeah, I need to... That's what we need to do. I need to not slam the brakes like I've been. Because when you slam the brakes, that's when stuff... Uh, when your brakes lock up, you cannot steer. Kind of like uh, right there. Because when your brakes lock up, it's nothing but understeer. You just go in a straight line and die. Yeah, I, I think I tried to make this into a drift truck before just for stupid fun when you play online with other people. Why are you locking brakes on me now? Yeah, there's too much. I'm going to check uh, for the next race. I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the way it's set up. I want a lot more. I want almost all the power to the rear. Uh, if it's going to be racing if it's off-road, it's nice to have like At least I'd say at least 30% to the front But it's no it's uh, it's probably about 50 50 I'm assuming Because if it was all to the back I would have drifted that corner right there, but I didn't Oh my god. I forgot how garbage it is to drive trucks in this game. Like, trucks are SUVs. It's pretty much only the cars that feel good. Especially since last episode, I drove one of my favorite, like, my favorite cheaper cars, the uh, Mazda Roadster. I like that car. I like the, I like the jaw, the, the English. I like the Dodge Rams. Uh, my dad had one, I think it was a 2001 or a 2002 Dodge Ram uh, crew cab. Same color as this one. Um, fender flares, all that stuff. But then, yeah, never mind. I'm not going to continue stories. He didn't wreck it or anything like that. Come on! It's an understeery little bitch, though. Probably only because of the four-wheel drive, because I could drift it instead. It's not hard to drift a 700-horsepower vehicle. I don't care how heavy it is. Well, I don't know. Could you easily drift a Mack truck with 700 horsepower? Maybe. Or a tractor trailer, I mean. Because Mack truck is a tractor trailer. I do like making these videos because it's just go calm, especially if you have vehicles already like I do because I pretty much beat the game already um, except for the endurance races and a couple that I just couldn't beat for some reason. Probably because I didn't have the right cars. Well, that was the last lap. We won! Yay! Now I'm going to uh, go over and check and see uh, if my horsepower, like, if the power's balanced correctly. Um, and I'll see you guys at the next track. Yay! We're back! Um, I did check, and I saw that the, uh, the ratio, well, not the ratio, but the power was 50 in the front, 50 in the back. Now... The best I could do was 10 in the front, 90 in the back. Um, which, for this track, would probably be better, honestly, to not do that. I probably could have kept four-wheel drive, because we might have some slippage issues. Um, dealing with the Daytona track, because of turns. And I also could have turned up the, uh... I could have turned up the transmission a bit. I didn't realize this was the track, so this is probably going to be fairly annoying. Even though I'm going... You know what? I'm going to back out, and I'm going to do this the fast way, so I don't have to hear... Dun, dun, dun. 
Okay, we are about where we were uh, when I went and changed everything. Uh, we are a tiny bit quicker now. Uh, I could have uh, probably not put the transmission so high. I set it for um, 211 miles an hour. Um, I'm sure we could hit about 200 and uh, around 200, probably 200 exactly, maybe, or like 198, I think, um, if it was just a straight line. But I don't think we're gonna get even 180 unless the, unless we could draft off someone, which in this race the only way that's gonna happen is if I lap them, which is possible. I've done it before, but with cars that were way faster than this. Um, usually it's the 2008 Viper, I think it was, that's like the best one. Um, you could set that up, cruise at 206 miles an hour, just zoom, no problem. Kind of pretty much just like the real NASCAR. Um, yeah, just cruising, cruising and bruising. Seems a lot uh, scarier in first person, though, doesn't it? You're like, uh, this is a little quick. 163 miles an hour in a Dodge Ram is quite respectable. That's only what? I, I don't know what, like, the fact that, like, what the factory said top speed is, but I think the speedometers say 120, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, you could have a car with a speedometer that says 200, and it could be a fucking Prius without an engine in it. That don't mean shit. Oh, we're cruising. Very slow. Oh, we already fucking did it? That's boring. Wow. I thought we had a little more time than that. That's going to be a short-ass video. Well, I'm going to end it at that then, I guess. Um, I'll see you the next time. Uh, let's go check. I want to see what uh, what it is that we are going to do next time. Because I have to... Because uh, I beat like all of them, pretty much. Um, hurry up. I think there was a couple muscle car ones, like classic muscle ones that I couldn't beat. Just because of the sliding around in the specific track. And I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Okay, next time we will be doing Japanese 90s cars uh, challenge. Um, so I did, like, all the ones here. Um, the one specific one I'm thinking about. Uh, I did all those. I think it's like, the. it might be an extreme... It's this one, this fucker, Historic Racing Car Cup. That one I had so much trouble with. Um, I tried to use the Shelby Cobra on it um, because it is my favorite car, and it is a difficult race. That track kills me every time. Um, but I think now that I'm more experienced, I might be a little, like, I might be better with it, but I didn't really try much of these other ones. Um really at all. I don't know why. It might have been just the amount of laps or something. Or that I didn't have the car. I remember that track, actually. I remember what car I tried to use in it, though. Like, I think I didn't have the cars. Like, good cars for those tracks. Like, something like the Challenger RT. That thing would slide bad around those turns. I would need... Like, special made, uh, maybe the Lamborghini Aventador might be something good, but I remember using the uh, Jaguar XJR right here. Um, that is not nearly as good as you think it be. Think it be. It's not nearly as good as you think it would be. Um, it's not that quick, honestly. God, I have two Shelby Cobras. I have one set up the way it... I would love to have a real life one. I have another one that's chrome. Yeah, that's the chrome one. Where's my other one? I put a lot of fucking miles on it, too. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm probably going to end the video at that. Uh, how many miles did I put on it? Uh, 1,266, which is, which is quite a bit of miles for a game. 
Uh, 27 wins, switched to it 36 times. It, it's, I love this car. This is like my top of the line dream car. Um, but if I would ever get one, it would probably have to be a kit car. Because the shells of the, like just the, the metal, um, body of it is like a hundred grand. So I'll probably never get a real one. Um, but I'm going to end the video at that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one when we mess around with some 90s Japanese cars. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.